very happy to have a show here in this beautiful gallery and I'm very grateful to Pier Paolo Pancotto who invited me to do a show here and um, yeah we try to show uh, the whole range of my work of my practice which is uh, sculpture uh, painting and I'm trying to uh, extend uh, the media of, of painting through uh, collage, drawing and different photographic techniques like uh, camera obscura photography and direct exposure uh, from, uh, uh, from things uh, to, to, uh, to the paper, so uh, photography also without uh, photo apparat. That was a little bit complicated, probably. Yeah. Um, but it's very interesting uh, list of works because uh, uh, in uh, three rooms it show your research uh, it gives us uh, many indication about it. Mm -hmm. It's not your first solo show in Italy. You did already one in the Museo Canonica right. in Rome uh, after you had uh, a mm -hmm. great, great ex exhibition. Uh, in Secession in Vienna, right. but it's your first solo show in Milan. Yes, it's my first solo show, even my first time in Milan, and I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, for me doing a show is not only uh, putting one painting or drawing after the other in a, in a gallery, but uh, creating a kind of Gesamtkunstwerk, so the pieces, the drawings, the sculptures, could get into a dialogue and turn out to be more than just a, a, a list of works. In this, in this case, could be more appropriate to underline that it's not a traditional show, but especially in this room, it's a great installation. Yes, yes. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit, uh, a show is also always a little bit like a, a stage or a theater for me and the, the works are, are the actors. They, they talk to each other, they interact to each other, and uh, it's like a play. I could, I could compare it to a play in the theater, yes. Mm -hmm. And so face the people that don't know your work can imagine that you are simply a, a painter mm -hmm. or uh, are, we are looking simple uh, drawings, mm -hmm. but can you go deeper inside the, your research? Can you explain just a little bit mm -hmm. more about mm -hmm. the, your technique? Yeah, if you want to put me in some kind of uh, tradition, I see myself as a surrealist or in that surrealistic uh, tradition, I can say, or practice. Um, and as I mentioned before, I try to expand the field of painting. So um, I, 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 I like to invite beside uh, painting also photography, drawing and uh, collage. That's, that's important for me. And I have difficult techniques like here we see that's a photogram. So that means I took a piece of glass and scrambled with a felt pan on it and then I laid down the piece of glass on the photo paper and then I smashed the glass with a hammer. You see all the broken glass and then I exposed it to light with a flashlight. And if you see here, that's, that's the same glass but before I smashed it. So that's a broken drawing and here the drawing is still intact before smashing it. And here I have a mask. Um, it's all kind of small sculpture. And the eyes here, they're made of uh, real butterfly uh, wings. So many butterflies, they have uh, eye-like patterns on their wings to scare off uh, predatory um, animals who wants to eat them. So those are real butterfly wings. And here we have the same mask. Uh, here I did, that's a, that's a camera obscura photo of, of the mask we saw before. Um, in, a comp, in a collage, 
that's CNOTP, that's also a, a, uh, the blue one is also a, a photographic technique composed in a collage and a drawing painting. And sometimes mm -hmm. your work is possible to, to see some a short text or something that is not a simple signature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more, for me, more. Uh, for me, um, painting, uh, no, let's say, for me, drawing is very close to writing. So I like to mix writing and drawing, which, which is very close together. And I like, um, that's more, a little bit more like a, basically a joke. So I like to, I like to write my name, so my signature the wrong way. So like, uh, audio, uh, like mirror writing or something like that. <laughs> and the last question, can you tell us something about the sources of inspiration that you have, mm -hmm. considering uh, especially the, the historical sources, I mean, uh, other artists, uh, mm -hmm. other avant-garde or something else? Yeah, yeah. Do we yeah. have them or not? I have, um, I wouldn't say I have directly, um, my, my English is not so good, I, I don't have directly heroes or so, I try to follow them, but of course I have a, uh, I'm aware of art history and I didn't start from zero, but I, every artist builds up from a, from a kind of history, art history, and I'm aware of that. And as I said before, I'm very fond of a surrealistic artist, artistic practice, which is a, very fruitful for me, I can say. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you, Thank Pierre you. Paolo. It was a pleasure. Thank you.